Hi everybody, I know this is a really busy time of year for a lot of you, but I just want to pop in and say hi and see how everybody is doing. I used to love this time of year, just the hustle and bustle, I just loved all of it. But I'm telling you, as I have aged, I just crave the peace and the tranquility. So I'm just gonna share with you today a couple of things. I do these things every day just to give my mind a little quiet and just to give my body a little self care. If you're one of those people who is just pulled in every direction, just worn thin, everyone wants a piece of you. And I know it's in our character as women, we're caregivers. We just always put everyone first and we always put ourselves last. We've been doing that for years and years, but this is the time where we need to start to realize we need to be put first. It's important. It's so important to take, even if it's just 10 minutes out of your day, to just give yourself a little self-love. Or maybe you are one of those people where your children are busy doing their own thing, they don't have any time for you, or maybe you don't have children. And this time of year, it's just kind of a little lonely. I say embrace the tranquility. Enjoy that you don't have to be rushing here and there and doing this and that for everyone. And take the time to do these few little things that are just going to make you oh, just feel so good. So something I started like only, I don't know, maybe four months ago is breath work. Breath work is going to change your life. But I'm gonna show you just a really quick, easy one. You can do it anywhere, two minutes. And I'm telling you, it's going to calm your mind if you're feeling anxious or stress or even feeling a panic attack coming on. It's called the 478. So what you do is you breathe in for four seconds, you hold it for seven seconds, and then you release it for eight seconds. Sounds too simple to work, right? But it works. So you breathe in for four seconds. Wash, rinse, and repeat. Just do that over and over again. Four in, hold for seven, release for eight. Breathe in for four seconds, hold for seven, release for eight. That's simple and it calms you right down. I promise you. I cannot say enough good things about stretching. You need to be stretching every day. Our bodies need to stretch or they're just gonna cramp up and we're not gonna be able to move. So there's just a few simple stretches, anything, any kind of stretching, and it doesn't matter if you bend over, you can't touch your toes, it doesn't matter. Go as far as you can. You can incorporate it into part of your meditation practice. I like to multitask. So if I'm meditating, I kinda like to get a little stretching in at the same time. So if you just get into a stretch, hold it, don't rush quiet, calm, do some breathing, stay in that one position as long as you can hold it and then try a different position and breathe into that. And with every breath, when you let go, you can go just a little deeper. And so that is something that you should be doing absolutely every day. Another thing that is so important, so important is balance. We need to be balancing so that we're protecting ourselves from falls and just making ourselves strong. The balancing comes from the core, so it's making your core strong and it's just making you stable. This is really important. When doing balancing, there's many ways you can do it. I'm just gonna show you two different ways. First of all, you need to really make your core hard. Tighten it up because that's where you're gonna get your balance. And then look at something across the room sort of not at the ground, sort of a little bit up, a dot, something, and just keep your eye on that. And then you lift your foot. Depending on where you can, maybe you just lift it right here, and that's all you can do, perfect. Or if you wanna lift it higher, you can lift it higher. The only place you should not put it is on your knee, like right here, don't do that. 
below the knee, above the knee, fine. So if you're right here, you can just hold it in prayer and gaze right at that spot. Swaying is fine. You can lift it up higher. And when you're working balance, if you fall out of it, that's absolutely fine. That's normal. Everyone falls out of it. I fall out of it all the time. But once you get that spot, and it's like I said, even your toe can be touching the ground to give yourself a little bit of a balance. That's great. And then you just try to calm yourself down. Tighten your core and try to be calm. And another balance exercise, which is really, really good, is bending forward. And if you lift your foot up, you can even have your toe touching the ground. That's fine. If you need that at the beginning for balance, make sure your core is tight. Put your eye on that dot across the room, and then you just bend forward. If you can lift your leg, then you lift your leg. But if you can't, don't. If you can just lift it a little bit, lift it a little bit. It's all getting that balance and your core strong. You can lift your arms out. You could hold in prayer. You can lift your arms out. You could go forward. These are all just steps that you can advance to, but absolutely starting out, bending over, and even having your toe as balance and just maybe lifting it a little bit. You start to lose your balance. You go down, you catch your balance, lift it a little bit, and then you, do, you can switch it and do with the other leg. But that's really going to strengthen your core, but it's gonna give you balance so that we're not falling, so that we're strong. It's really important at our age. So that's it. That's just a few simple things. Throw those into this busy season right now and you will just feel so much better. Get out for a walk. Even if it's just 20 minutes, get out for a walk by yourself and just enjoy looking at the birds and the trees and just being outside. Doesn't matter if it's cold, doesn't matter it, what the temperature, get outside and just have that time to yourself. So I really hope you do take just a few moments every day just for you. You've got to remember how important you are, how important your health is, and how special you are, and how we all need you to be healthy and strong, and you need that for yourself. So I hope you all do that. I hope that you get through this season. I know for some of us, it's incredible and exciting and fun. For others, it's seeing uncles and aunts that you really don't wanna see. And for some of us, it's kind of lonely. But we'll all get through it together because we have this group where we can come together and tell each other, it's okay. You're gonna be okay. So that's it for today. I'm so glad just to see you just for a minute and just to make sure that everyone's doing okay. So say hi in the comments. I love you guys all so much.